So here is one of the best power bank modules which I have found so far, which supports quick charging 3.0 protocol. And on the table here, I have all the parts needed to put together my first prototype, except there's only one problem. That being the placement of the indicator LEDs. They are completely flush against the board. So how am I going to see them from the outside of the case? The answer, fiber optic cable. So after an entire day of painstakingly taking the exact measurements of this board to recreate the entire thing in CAD, I was then able to precisely place holes on the bottom of the um, case here to to exactly line up with each of the surface mount LEDs on the board. And after using a nice sharp razor blade to make sure that we get nice smooth cuts on the ends, assembly is as easy as just inserting them into each of their holes. So you might not be able to see the LED there, but it is going to make direct contact with that surface mount chip. In fact, that yellow glow you see is from the fiber optic making the um, plastic of the LED glow. So with all of the strands now making perfect contact with the LEDs, the only thing left to do is to use a nice sharp razor blade once again and neatly cut through each of these strands. And looking nice. Now after spending way too much time getting the button to not jam up by getting the tolerances correct, we can then move on to inserting the front panel, which I also spent way too much time getting the tolerances of to be exactly perfect with the board to give it a nice click when you push it into place. And then finally come the fire pillows. So this thing can take up to four 2.5 amp hour lithium polymer cells. So today I'm just gonna be putting two, which I'll be securing into place using some adhesive foam tape. A Couple of lever nuts later, and we now have both of these cells in parallel. Putting just a couple of uh, small strips of the foam adhesive tape, and it's not very adhesive at all. And this is just to make sure that they stay together, but are not being like held together. So if they do need to expand for whatever reason, they can break free from the tape. You can see it's barely sticking to the uh, battery. With the foam barely holding on, I'm gonna go ahead and put it again in the bare shell, which I would never do in the um, final version. Positive lead. And then the negative lead. And a little bit of what is probably quite flammable generic foam later, we're ready to put on the lid. Again, this is just for a demonstration and I'm gonna be taking it apart right after I'm done recording this. All that's left is putting on the lid and this should snap right into place. And holding everything together, we can flip it around and press the button and we can see the fiber optics are making the LEDs come through really nicely. So I'm just going to plug in my USB-C cable and we should see the um, fiber optics all start to light up. And about five or so minutes later, we have some charge. So let's go ahead and try it out. So let's power this USB-C power supply. So if we press the button on the bottom here, we'll see that it shows two dots. And if we hold the button, it'll turn on the flashlight. And with the other end of that cable connected to the power supply, we should get about 12 volts coming in. So 5 at first and then 